Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com. Fueled by Gatorade, Ross Gordon, joined by Terrell Dupree and the Spartan Partners post-game player of the game, Ray Corbo, to my left. First, we'll start with Terrell Dupree. Your final score, 82-58. The Spartans have won their last three contests in conference play now, 4-1 and one in conference, 5-11 and 11 overall, Terrell. And in the first half, the Spartans started off well and got well uh, quickly as they led at the break by 16-38-22. Well, you know what they did was they asserted themselves on the glass, uh, got back on defense, certainly put pressure on the ball handlers early in the game and started to get the outlet and, and themselves started to push the ball on the glass. So they did well and never really let up. They were relentless throughout. 18 turnovers for North Carolina Central. The Spartans turned those into 29 points. So you have to like the way Norfolk State did their job on defense moving to offense. Well, you know, and not only that, uh, Deborah, well, excuse me, Coach up. Uh, Coach, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just getting back. Coach Deborah Clark. Clark, I'm sorry, wrong term. Uh, Coach Clark really wanted a little bit more tenacity in the second half. And, of course, you notice the girls are picking up the defense at the half court mark, uh, putting a lot of pressure on the offense. Central didn't have a chance. We worked uh, our way into the Spartan Partners play of the game. Great Corbo was 11 of 20 from the floor, 3 of 4 from downtown, 4 of 5 from the free throw line, added 3 rebounds three assists and three steals. So you have to like the way you played tonight. Uh, first of all, second straight game with 29 points. Uh, but tonight shot the ball a lot better from the field. Talk a little bit about your game as a whole. Um, I really just wanted to focus on taking good open shots, knocking down every open shot that I get because, you know, those don't come um, too easy for me. So I just really wanted to focus on being a little bit more efficient than I was um, last Monday at Bethune. Even though I had 29 points, it really wasn't as efficient as I would like would have liked it to be. So that's, that was my main focus tonight. You know, Ray, I saw you penetrating and then dishing, but early on you were getting your game going. Talk to me about how important it is to get your colleagues involved. Um, it's so important because if they don't get involved and they don't get going, then it's pretty much just like one on five, two on five sometimes, and we're not, we're not going to win like that. So if everyone, you know, just has a feel for the ball and, you know, is comfortable with making shots, they'll be comfortable with making them down the stretch if need be. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important to get everyone involved. We started this year losing close ball games, but it seems like we've turned it on as conference play has uh, gone on. We won three straight games by double digits. Have to like the way we're playing as the season has gone along. Oh, yeah. I'm just so proud of everyone. Everyone's just stepping up, especially in practice. Just everyone is getting after and pushing each other. And that's what we've needed. You know, in the beginning of the season, we probably lost a lot of our games in practice, just not being as focused as we need to be and not pushing at all times and, you know, just losing the focus the last, the last 20 minutes of the game, uh, practice, excuse me. But now, you know, everyone is locked in and we can kind of see, you know, how – good we can be and where our potential is so I think everyone's just so much more focused now especially since we got these wins yeah I just want to pick back off of what you said about practice because obviously that translates on the floor right. talk to me about tonight not allowing this to be a trap game Ross and I talked about it a lot what are you all doing to make sure that you're coming out and performing like you should each and every night um just making sure that we know what we need to do in the game during practice and we make sure we're focusing on those things in practice the whole entire week not just one day or two days we make sure we're you know dribbling um out of traps and trying not to you know split the traps or not making bad decisions in the press or you know boxing out every single time not letting people who are capable of having huge nights get off on us on offensive boards like we had in previous games this season so it's just like really focusing on little things and knowing that those little things make a big difference Two final questions for you, Ray. First, we'll start with uh, North Carolina A&T. Preseason first, uh, they were picked to finish first. How do we carry this win into Monday night against North Carolina A&T? Um, just take this confidence. Don't get too excited just because we won another game. Of course, it's a good thing, but we have to refocus because there's a whole other animal coming in on Monday. So we just have to refocus tomorrow and just know what we have to do, come ready to prepare, um, and know that we can do it. Like, we can win. Finally, uh, probably a big night for us, but uh, another tough night because we lost Ebony Brown. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about what's going to be to play without Ebony, uh, a, a tough injury for her. Uh, how, what is it going to be like for you guys to pick up pieces and who's going to have to step up? Well, it's so sad not having her, knowing that we're not going to have her for the rest of the season just because she's a senior and it means so much to her. You know, basketball is so much – it's just so – it's a big part of her life, you know. Um, and it's just so sad to see one of our sisters go down like that, especially the way she went out. Um, so 
we just have to remember, you know, she's our our sister, and we have to know that we're playing for her. Everything that we do now is is for her. Um, as far as picking up where she left off, I guess um, we just gonna have to do our part and then some. So you know, whatever whatever that means, if that means an extra three pointer, taking that extra three pointer, making knocking down that extra three pointer, getting that offensive rebound, getting that defensive rebound, boxing out on the on the weak side, just. Any little things that I know Ebony would do, I have to pick up for it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it, and that's how we all should feel about it, and that's the only way we're going to really pick up her slack. Hey, Ray, thank you. Congratulations Definitely. on the night 11 of Good 20 game. for the game. Three or four from downtown, 29 points, five, four or five from the free throw line. She is our Spartan Partners postgame player of the game. Norfolk State will be right back in action here on the Monday night as they host North Carolina a and in another big in me at contest for Terrell Decree and Ray Corbo. I'm Ross Gordon. Thank you for watching the Spartans victorious tonight, 82 to 58. You're watching NSUSpartans.com fueled by Gatorade.